Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we're gonna check fresh kit from ICM. As you can see, this is a new World War II German truck. And as usual you can find link to the review article here in the video description below. So click it and read it. This is a new 135 scale TIP or L300, actually 3000S. And as I said before, this is a World War II German truck. It comes in this nice box. Here you can see this beautiful box art. On the side we have some information about the kit. Again, it's a bit difficult to read. But there are 168 parts inside which should assemble into the model which will have uh, 176 millimeters length. And here we have short history note about the real vehicle. On the side we have one of the marking options shown in form of these profiles. And now we're gonna open this box and check it closer. So box structure is typical for ICM. I mean if you had, let's say, ICM kit before, you understand that this white sturdy box will preserve its contents, which you can see here. All plastic frames are packed into the same plastic bag. So if you have a chance to check it, better to look inside and check all minor parts if they are break, broken or not. Now, just give me a second to open it and we will take a closer look. So, first plastic sprue is dedicated to minor parts. As you can see here we have wheel rims, here we have the main frame which is placed here, uh, also shock absorbers and some other external elements. For example here we have shovel, here we have some engine parts more engine parts, steering wheel, and that's pretty much all. Molding quality is really good. I can zoom in so that you can see them closer. Here they are. Everything looks nice and there is no flesh on the parts, even on the thin ones. But maybe thin parts will require careful separation because otherwise you might break them. Uh, here we have another plastic frame. This one is dedicated to external elements and the only internal part as far as you can see these two engine halves and also this dashboard. So uh, front cap should be assembled out of separate panels. We have separate doors, we have separate bonnet and these features might be used by some models. Some models might be, um, I mean, might close them, glue them in place and not use them at all. Here you can see that um, the grille of this truck features emblem and writing which can be brought out with help of dry brushing of course and again molding quality is on the same level so no worries and the only thing which you can detail up is the engine because uh, of course there is no PE fret included so you will have to detail it with your own hands. Here we have parts for the rear a uh, section of this truck, so we have some wooden parts, a wooden base, also some wheel arches, even fuel cans are placed here. And note that fuel cans will have to be assembled out of two halves, and there is special raised contour which will help you with alignment. And that's pretty much all for these plastic parts. Then we have vinyl tires which are packed into the separate plastic bag. Just give me a second to open them and we will take a closer look. So as I said, these are typical vinyl parts and as you can see we have no seam in the middle. But you will have to carefully disassemble these parts, I mean this connection, because otherwise you might damage the tire pattern. On the sides there is no detailing, so you shouldn't expect any further detailing on those parts. And if you have, let's say, possibility to get a resin option, better to install it on the track in order to get nice detailing. Then we have another small plastic bag. This one carries transparent parts for gl front glasses. Here you can see them. As you can see they are molded as a separate parts of course, but there are no masks included in this kit, so you'll have to be careful while cutting masks for this kit. And as far as I know there are no aftermarket sets available, so you'll have to do it with your own hands. 
Uh, then we have here assembly menu, which is printed in form of this brochure. We have two short history notes, Russian and English. Then inside we have, of course, small decals sheet with several types of number plates and some writings as you can see. Of course, parts map is here. Note that all parts will be used. Uh, then assembly starts with engine. We gradually continue to the chassis. Then we attach wheels, front cap, then we install everything on the place, then we assemble rear segment, and then in total we'll have to do 76 steps. And here you can see marking options. So here is first one, here is the second one, both are gray, and here is the third one and fourth one. Those come in the yellow color for the North Africa versions, and of course Italy. So that's all for this video review, I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, don't forget to leave your opinion here in the comment section below. And of course, if you want to help us, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will see you in the next video review, bye!